Uh, we just got done meeting and talking about a number of things that uh, we wanted to share with you. Just want to begin with reading to you from Psalm 121. It says, I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever. And this, this psalm just conveys the absolute love and devotion that our Heavenly Father has to us, his people. And it gives us comfort to know that, that the help that we need is going to come from him. And we certainly want to be a source of spiritual help to you uh, as we venture into these unprecedented times. Um, and so we wanted to share with you some of the decisions that we've made and uh, the uh, plans that we have upcoming. And uh, all of that, of course, will be unfolding over time. But uh, so Francis is going to share about just kind of the ministries and the state of the different ministries. Pat's going to share about the uh, the website and how we're going to utilize that as well as some other means of communication. And then I'll talk about our Sunday services and stuff like that. So go ahead, Francis. All right. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, certainly unique circumstances. And I know many of you are uh, curious about just the many midweek ministries and other ministries that we have ongoing and just the status of those. So we thought it'd be best to just address all of them at once um, so that we know what we're doing for the next uh, number of weeks. Uh, one particular um, thing that we have done, which is the Financial Peace University. Um, so we are canceling that. Um, and so again, for those of you that have attended, I, I pray that it was beneficial for you. But at this point, uh, we made the decision to cancel it. As far as those involved in discipleship, whether it be one-on-one -on -one or even a small group, uh, maybe one, two, or three individuals, you know, our encouragement is that you continue to meet. Certainly nothing against doing that. Uh, assuming everyone is well and healthy, uh, we think, uh, we believe that to be very vital. And so continue to do that. Um, as far as home fellowship groups, uh, generations to come, um, EPIC, so the things that normally go on every week uh, during the midweek, uh, those are suspended um, until further notice. And so we're just kind of taking this on day by day, um, hour by hour as we get updates. But as of now, uh, we will suspend those um, until uh, until further notice. Um, other ministries such as uh, CBI, um, encouraging biblical manhood, um, ladies fellowship, those uh, have also been suspended uh, for the time being. Um, and we've had other events planned too. They're, they're not necessarily um, every week or every couple of weeks, but events like uh, family game night, which we all enjoy, uh, junior senior banquet for the youth, um, membership class, uh, as well as baptism. So right now those um, have been postponed uh, to a future date, uh, which we don't know at the moment, um, but we are postponing those. So stay tuned. Uh, Pat's going to speak of just different ways we're going to communicate via website and other means. Uh, but as of now, that's where we, uh, where we stand. All right. So uh, interesting times that we're in. We do want to keep communication open and that means uh, you've already received a lot of emails from me and more of those are to come um, but at the same time we do want to introduce new new things this has given us an opportunity to really clean up our website which has been looking really old so uh, that's giving <laughs> us some opportunity to get some feedback from these guys so we're going to clean that up we're going to give you resources of what you can do while you're maybe quarantined at home um, books to read websites to visit uh, things that would just be encouraging for you and your children, um, catechisms and things of that nature. Uh, the other things that we wanted to do was we are investigating possible different ways to uh, communicate with technology such as Slack. Uh, for those of you that work in the office, this may be a tool you already use. Slack is a great tool that you can use from your laptop, your phone, or from your iPad or any other device and it allows you to communicate with us really quickly. All of the communication so far has been one way. We send out messages to you, but we want to hear from you as well. So uh, we want to be able to give you that opportunity through Slack. And the other thing that we wanted to explore is possibly Zoom or Google Hangouts or 
uh, some other technology for us to do conferencing, video conferencing, um, live streaming, things of that nature. So possibly a small group study together. We want to be creative in this. We're not married to any one of these technologies, but we do want to explore the very best and affordable option. So expect some of those things, and I'll be giving some tutorials on how to use some of these technologies once we decide and pick on one. So um, that's all I have for now, and more, more, more communications coming. And as far as our Sunday services, uh, last week we did a pre-recorded uh, sermon, and this week will be the same, but our hope, um, and you can keep this in, in, um, in your prayers, is that by the following Sunday service, I don't have the date, what that would be, but not this coming, but the following one, that we might be going live stream, um, and uh, we have some resources that we're checking into. Uh, what's wonderful is that the church at large is really um, seeking to provide resources, even free resources, to utilize these kinds of things. So we're looking at the possibility of, of live streaming our Sunday services where we'd have the full service uh, all together so that when you're at home and you're watching and it would be, of course, at the normal time, uh, it just feel a little bit more like you're here, except you happen to be in your living room. Um, and then the other things, sorry, my computer uh, uh, timed out here. And then the other thing that's important, and we'll be talking more about this, but also pursuing digital giving. Um, we've mentioned so far just you know the importance of giving and uh, giving your checks or, or cash to the home fellowship groups, but then that was before we knew we were shutting those down. So we know that this is vital. We wanna make it as easy as possible. We're hoping, uh, Lord willing, we would have it up at the earliest, it might even be this weekend, but maybe starting sometime next week that we would have online giving available and um, and then just also some follow-up communication regarding that. And then we're also looking into the possibility of having a church app that would tie a lot of this stuff together. Um, so <laughs> I guess, you know, because we can't meet, the digital the digital revolution has begun at, at Cornerstone and, and, and we're... <laughs> We're, we're, uh, we're being drug in, uh, like it or not, and that may be something you're excited about, it may not be, but um, we may do these things for a while, and if they aren't you know, ultimately profitable, we, we won't do them past this event, you know, these, uh, these times that we're in, we'll see. Uh, we just want you to know that we're, we're looking at all these options. Um, all of it is designed so that, that uh, we can shepherd you, that we can give you the resources that you need to shepherd your families, um, and to keep growing in Christ and to build a communication uh, and, and encourage and facilitate that between us so that even though we're not seeing each other in person, we can at least see each other uh, on our phones or on our webpage, uh, on our um, apps and things of that sort. So that's our, that's our goal here. If you have any questions, um, you know how to reach us at least uh, just via texting or um, email. Use that for now until we say this is the way to go. But uh, that's the update for now. I hope this was helpful and um, Lord bless you and we'll be talking to you soon.